Hi students, I am Pawan, your science master. Students, this video is for 6th class students. Students, what we have been talking? Can you recollect the previous points that what we have talked? That's good. That what we have been talking about 6th chapter, Habitat. And this is the third video of the chapter. In the first video, we took some introduction of the chapter and in second video, we have studied about pond as a habitat. And in this video, what are we going to discuss? Can you expect? Can you imagine? There is an image displayed on the screen. What do you see on the screen? You can see a tree, birds flying over the tree, some creatures on the ground uh, just near the stem or near on the on, under the tree. You can see some creatures. What are those? You can see some mushrooms, you can see some worms, some bugs earthworms some beetles yes yes so this is how you can see the plant and around the plant okay <clears throat> actually uh, what are we going to discuss is plant or a tree as a habitat tree as a habitat what are we going to talk tree as a tree as a habitat very good tree as a habitat shashi can you tell me what are we going to talk now tree as a habitat very good tree as a habitat so here uh, i will keep uh, you know i will keep displaying this image on the screen and i will explain please follow me okay now what we have to do is we have to do an activity how we have to do the activity <clears throat> students tree as a habitat this is the concept today's concept okay let us study a plant or a tree as a habitat okay what do you see on the tree and around the tree birds monkeys squirrels snakes ants spiders caterpillars moths bees wasps small plants like mosses mosquito or some organisms that you may find on a tree yes these not only the listed organisms you can see other than these listed organisms as well right uh, try to classify them into different categories how to classify them based on what you have to classify them based on where you find them where you find them especially on tree and around the tree okay and <clears throat> if other organisms other than the listed organisms that what i read we just mention them okay what in a table i will display the table on the screen you can see students how the table is this is how the table is students at the base of the tree what organisms you can see there on the trunk and what creatures or organisms you can see and on the trunk means what stem on the trunk means what stem very good and between the branches like you know one example is given for your understanding monkey monkeys live on the branches of tree right where do monkeys live on the branches of tree good and on or within leaves on or within leaves some creatures uh, use the leaves of the plants you know how do they use the leaves they make leaves folded and they make a shelter there and they live in the leaves within the leaves okay like that so here you have to do activity in such a way and you have to present as a project work students have you got it now let us move forward uh, there are some observations now while doing this activity there are some observations first before doing this activity what you have to do is select a tree first of all and what select a tree and observe the tree that you have selected over a period of time or a period of time like 
one day or two days or one week or ten days like that and over a period of time means why should you take this over a period of time that you will understand later you know say a week by visiting it at least at two different times a day you can find different creatures you can see some creatures coming over there and going away from there like that so these observations are most important students you keep observing this tree and listen to my voice right and <clears throat> the project work you can do on your own or else you can do like a group together okay next then what you have to observe is make a list of all the organisms see by you on your first visit there add names of organisms that you may find in your next visit you know you have to keep on visiting you have to keep on visiting the tree frequently and you keep on observing the creatures uh, present there near or around the tree on or around the tree at first visit and on second visit on third visit like that so if you observe like that you can see the, 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 the different organisms coming there and going away from there okay like that and make a rough sketch of the tree in your notebook and mark the places on the tree where you spot these organisms and uh, where you spot these for organisms in the sense uh, where you see these organisms uh, on the stem or in the branches or on the leaves or under the tree uh, tree or on the bark on the stem trunk like that okay and different parts of the plant or the different parts of the tree okay so this is how you can make a project work like this and and you have to carry out some exploration by trying to find observations what observations i will say did you find some small plants growing on the tree of course you can find some small plants even growing on the tree as well and is the tree chosen by you a habitat for this plant of course yes maybe habitat for those plants growing on the tree as well okay and did you find that some animals were always present on the tree did you find that some animals always present on the tree of course you may find like ants always present on the tree good next did you find some animals coming and going away from the tree of course some birds come over there and go away from there like that and did you spot the same animals every day these are the observations of your project work students tell me shashi tell me what are your observations whether the organisms are same organisms are there uh, on or around the tree or different organisms are there on or around the tree different organisms are there around the tree very good different organisms are there on or around the tree right that's good so is the tree a habitat for the organisms that came on is the tree a habitat for organisms of course yes we can say yes the tree is a habitat and the same tree may be habitat may not be habitat okay and the creatures may choose another tree for their survival okay like that you have to observe and based on your observations for which organisms is the tree observed by you a habitat that you have to identify for which organisms i listed just before no i said some names of organisms yeah like that you have to what observe the tree for which organisms the tree is observed by you a habitat okay like that and discuss with the other group as well and what they have observed whether they have observed as same as you observed or is there any difference like that you have to 
come to know okay do all the trees observed have the same animals these are the observations when you have to compare your project work or your observations with others observations like this now, do all the trees observed have the same animals may be same may not be same they, that that's not for sure okay uh, is there any tree without animals yes of course there may be animals may not be animals okay that's not a permanent place for the animals right right next what are the animals you frequently see on trees Shashi, tell me what are the animals you frequently see on trees? Monkeys and baboons. Very good. You frequently see monkeys and baboons coming over a tree and uh, staying for a few days or few hours there and leaving the tree, going away from the tree. Okay, like that. Next. Students, uh, try to observe some plants and trees in your surroundings as well there are different types of trees in your surroundings okay students try to observe more plants and trees in your surroundings as well there are different types of trees in our surroundings that you know and tree is a place where different types of animals live right birds squirrels and spiders etc some very small plants also grow on the barks of a tree yes very small plants like mosses live on the barks of big trees okay uh, and you may have seen certain areas of the bark having green uh, velvety growths especially in the rainy season yes so that uh, trees are said to be habitat for different organisms birds and squirrels come and go from a tree yet the tree is a habitat for them yes of course the tree is a habitat for certain creatures but that's not a permanent habitat for them the same tree is not a permanent habitat for those creatures the creatures select another tree as a habitat on the whole we can say tree as a habitat I hope you all understood tree as a habitat concept for this video students I hope you understood this video students I want you to watch this video uh, as many times as you can and you try to mention the points of what you have understood from this video students and thank you for listening and thank you one and all and in the next video I will teach you about our house as a habitat thank you